Pierogi. Yes, it's hard to say it. So today on Live, Laugh, Love, we're making Polish pierogi from my babci. I just say, from my uh, dada. I just say, um, pierogi for American ways. This channel is really about celebrating life. I love this little boat. Fish off the ice bridge. Already shredded. What are you mixing? Uh, I'm just mixing the cheese. Cheese filling? Cheese filling. And what's it for? For the pierogi. 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 <laughs> You're so cute. Yep, so all this is per our recipe is one package of farmer's cheese, three quarters of a stick of melted butter, two eggs, and a half cup of sour cream. Uh, the list will be at the end. This is definitely the kind of cheese you want to get. You can use whatever you want, but traditionally that's what my grandmother used, and that's what we'll use. All right, mix that up, boy. Can I use this? Yeah. Again? Yeah, be careful. What setting? I forgot. The first setting. There you go. Aim it down, remember? For the dough, we used uh, seven cups of flour, one and a half cups of water, which um, varies, and two eggs. So if you do the dough and it looks super dry, and after you knead it, it's still super dry, just add a little bit more water, about two tablespoons at a time, um, until it gets smooth, uh, not as soft as a pizza dough, but you'll notice it'll be all the same color and consistency. Yeah. This is what it looks like. We haven't made a video in a while. We just did the one on the hike, remember? Oh, yeah. And we'll link that one up here. These are the hands that do all the work. Okay, so this is uh, bacon mashed potatoes. Um, this is our filling for the pierogi. Just make whatever, make whatever mashed potatoes you want. Um, we put a pound of bacon in ours, uh, mince it up so it comes out flavorful. You can add onions, do whatever you want. You can use sweet potatoes too if you really wanted to. Do whatever you gotta do, man. Uh, I'll post the recipe at the end of this. You can cater it to your own needs. Now we're gonna start making some pierogi. So this is our giant thing of dough. And basically we're gonna make little circles. We're gonna put them through here because I'm a cheater. Make them bigger. Then you take them like this. That's the ugliest circle I've ever made in my life. A little bit of the potato filling, a little bit of water on the edges. You fold it over, squish it down. Pierogi one. It's not pretty, but it's done. Just want to make a nice circle if you can. Before you put it it's hard to do one-handed. I have to do it one-handed and not show the daughter. Not perfect, but it works. And we fly them over to E-Dog. Ready? Woo! Good catch. You having fun? Mm -hmm. Just gotta dip it in the sauce. Kids are doing a great job. It's a family affair. We should polka dance in a minute. No. A little dippy dip dip. <laughs> yeah, I like potato and bacon. These ones are my favorite. I don't know. I love the cheese, but you can't eat the cheese. So they so suck. Yo, know, cheese are gross. Blech. I never cheese this. They're not good at all. I don't, I don't even know why we make them. <laughs> Someday they're going to have a cure for dairy allergy. Hopefully you just grow out of it. Here, eat this cheese. I got an EpiPen. And uh, if you have a reaction, we'll just shoot you with the EpiPen. I've been dying to use it. This is the ugliest pierogi I've ever made. Now, look at this. He makes this. I make this. He makes this. Well, I mean, yours it's is because he's a pro. Way bigger. He's yours a pro. Is really big. 
Andy's learning Polish. Say something in Polish. Kobieta. And what does that mean? Girl. You call me a girl? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! You stinker. Okay, so now we got a bunch folded. Now we got to boil some water. <laughs> Don't eat that. Bro. Bro, that's a raw pierogi. How's that I taste? do what I want to. <laughs> uh, how's that taste, bud? Mm. Not as good? Let me see that great. piece of art you made over here, Ethan. This is way better. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Perfect. Now we got to boil some water. Uh, when we boil water, we're going to dip the pierogies just for a couple minutes. Uh, once they float, uh, then we're going to cool them off. And then you'd fry them later, or at this point, you can freeze them. So Zoe's just made this dough here. It is almost perfect consistency. See how soft it is and pliable? Leave your handprint in it. Like that, perfect. Okay, so all we do is we take a little bit of the potato mixture and put it in the dough in the, in the middle. Take a little water, go around the edge, all the way around, just a little. And we fold it over, it's gonna be hard to do with one hand. Like that, and you wanna press the potato down a little bit, like this, so to push out some of the air. And you want the ends to touch in to the other end. And it's not the prettiest thing, but the idea is to seal it so when we boil it in the water, it doesn't open up. Now what we do anyway, because um, we're making cheese and potato, is we just take a fork on the edge of these, just so we know that these are potato if they get mixed up. Uh, Ethan has a dairy allergy, as most of you probably know. So these are ones that he can eat. We used uh, vegetable oil instead of butter um, and the potatoes. So he can eat this and there's no butter in the dough. And we boil them. Once they're boiled, they sit on a pan like this, usually on some wax paper, but it looks like we may have forgotten that stuff, and they just cool off. Once they cool off, we put them in Ziploc bags and we freeze them, and then when you cook them, cook them with butter, whatever you want, um, on pan fry them until they get a little brown on each side. This is what happens when you don't seal the edges. The filling comes out of it, and it explodes into the pot. So then that's like kind of like a useless pita. You guys sick of doing this yet? Yeah, it takes a while, doesn't it? Whoa. You like that? Pizza pie! It's a Polish pizza, can you try? Let's see it That's good. Okay, so now that they're boiled, you just want to take them and fry them in a little bit of butter. Uh, these are for Ethan, uh, so I use uh, vegetable oil just because he can't have butter. Um, but normally you just use butter. You can saute them with a little bit of onions. You really want to get just a little bit of color on each side. So I do it on one side first, flip it over, pierogi. Pierogi, pierogi, you got to say it like that, pierogi. If I didn't say it like that, my Bobchi and Jaja would punish me. Baja punish, they would say. A little salt, and there you have a dinner for my little Polish prince. Polish sausage, baked ham, and pierogi. Hi, Maya. Hi. Here you are, my little Polish prince. Thank you. What do you think? That was anti-climatic. You have to eat it all or you're going to bed. <laughs> We're still not done yet, but we decided to have a dinner break. So why not eat what we made? It's cheese. It's awesome. Just gonna mix up some eggs. Two eggs, half cup of sour cream. Mix that up. And then we're gonna warm up three quarters of a stick of butter and one three pound package of farmer's cheese in a bowl and that'll be our cheese filling. So let me just add the butter. Super slow, 
because you don't want to scramble the egg in here. This is an existing cheese that we had, so we're just going to mix this in with that one and then add another block of farmer's cheese. I'm just going to mix this in first. Okay, cheese filling is ready. Now we just got to make some dough. Maya, oh, yeah. mm. it's dingus day. Will you poker with me? No. Oh. Crosby, it's dingus day. Will you poker with me? No. Oh. Hey, Zoe? Will you polka dance with me? Please? Ethan, mm. it's dingus day. Will you polka with me? No. Oh. Mixer? Will you polka dance with me? All right. Now we gotta make another batch of dough. So it's seven cups of flour. One, two, three, and a little bit more. A little bit less than four, that'll even out. Five, six, seven. And then we need roughly seven and a half cups of water. Yeah, right. Two, roughly one and a half cups of water. Um, but if you put in one and a half, I found at least with this batch, it's not enough uh, with two eggs. So I'm gonna put two eggs in a bowl. One, two, maybe put it in. I make a little hole, pour it in. Now I'm gonna pour this water right to a half cup, and that'll be one and a half. And we'll start there. If it needs more, we'll add it as we go. Like the last batch, this one's going to need a little bit more. Now we could use the mixer, but the dough hook. The dough hook doesn't like me today. So just do it by hand. And you just need it. I need it. Need it so bad. Been doing this for roughly six hours. Kids have abandoned me. All right. There she does it. Now we gotta make little balls, roll them out, stuff them, do the same thing that we did with the potato. So after they're cooked, we put them on a pan. These are already frozen. Um, Freeze them in sheets, one layer, wax paper, one layer, wax paper, one layer, wax paper, etc. Once they freeze, take them out and put them in Ziploc bags, then they don't all stick together. We made about 80 potato and 80 cheese, roughly. Okay, so we're all cleaned up now. Everyone's in bed. Finally finished. Took several hours. We did about, I think, 180. Um, half and half, half potato, half um, cheese. And I just wanted to say, you know, when I was little, we would do this with my grandparents, uh, Bob Chi and Jaja, and we would, uh, we'd make these with the whole family. It was God awful fun. Um, my Bob Chi would nitpick absolutely every way that we made it. And my Jaja would say, oh, it's fine in his Polish way. Uh, he didn't speak at all any English, but we knew what he meant. I knew what he meant anyway. Not everybody else spoke Polish. And uh, recently we lost my grandmother too. Um, and I just want to dedicate this video to them. Uh, thanks for everything that you guys did in your life. And we'll pass on the pierogi making down. We would, uh, when I was little, my grandfather and my babchi would put on polka music and we would dance around the kitchen. And I'm still a horrible polka dancer, uh, but it was so much fun. And I couldn't get my kids to do it on camera, but I did get Ethan to dance with me a little bit. And he was smiling a lot. And of course, that's what the channel's all about. It's, you know, living, laughing, loving. And uh, family is a huge part of it for me, especially. Um, 
So I just want to say thank you to uh, my Bakchi and Jaja and uh, Nessia very much. Happy Dingus Day.